Hey YouTube, welcome back to my video, Science Designs, where I'm building a six car garage. Piling rings just arrived and today's video is talking all about piling and foundation. So stay tuned if you want to learn more and see how they do it. Welcome back, it's day 10 of the build and I've got JNS Piling and Foundations Limited. They're going to be doing all the piling work, they're going to be laying the groundwork and getting the raft still reinforced slab ready for when the block work starts. So they're going to be walking us through how that job actually works. So you can see for yourself, if some of you are interested in, then it's worth doing and it's worth doing right. So piling rigs just here now, the guys are dropping it off. The guys are going to tell us all about how and why we're using piling, principles of piling, why that's an advantage in terms of your standard block of being floor and other people might be using. So it's going to be quite interesting. They're going to be here for a few weeks. So they're going to tell us how it works, why it works, and why we're doing it. You notice these little yellow golf ball type points. These were measured out by the piling team. And we've got 21 paths going in. Uh, and we'll talk about that in the next video. These are the poles they're going to be using. So these are roughly four meters. And then what they do is they weld on these two meter sections. And that makes the total pile length six meters. And you'll see how that's done in a minute. Welded, and then that forms the 
six feet of pile all the way down to make the structure nice and solid. Carry on welding all the way around. Then you can use a hammer. So this actually is the right level. safe, secure, measured, the right depth, the right resistance and the next video will show you how they prep the base ready to lay the concrete slab.